did. I had to. Amen. I waste so much time in my life. I could have accomplished so much more, but I have no dreams, like real dreams. I sit at home thinking about, how come nobody with a Lamborghini ever pulls up next to me and is like, hey man, you want this car? I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> yes! I got a Lamborghini today. But it's never happened. I think that's wasted energy. I want to get rich enough in life that I can afford to release a dozen doves every time I walk into a room. You know people, did you see that guy come out of the bathroom? The, the one with doves. It was beautiful. I bet that's John Woo's kid. Huh? Oh, balcony appreciating a Woo reference. Front row guy just going, yes. The rest of you Google it, I don't care. I hate you, Google. You've caused a lot of problems in my relationship. I shared a computer with my girlfriend. She'd look up anything. I'm gonna look up apples today. She just hits the A. It's like Asian ass porn instantly. <laughs> Google's like, I'll take it from here. I know exactly what you're looking up. Well, every time you hit A, it's Asian ass porn. Google, all I ask is you let her type three letters before you jump to such a bold conclusion. It's bad enough, I'm clearing my history every three hours and changing my passwords. I'm trying to have an honest relationship and you are fucking my shit up! <laughs> and guess what? When I'm looking up Asian ass porn, guess who has all the time in the world? Uh, I do. I've got the house locked, the plantation shutters are closed, my keyboard is in a safe but reachable distance. <laughs> do you appreciate the picture I am painting? I am jerking it in this joke. This is highbrow stuff, guys. Oh, I'm gonna be so famous. I shave all my pubes. I don't know why I looked at you when I said that. But I thought you would appreciate it. Why? Because I'd like to have the fastest sex ever. That's why. I got three and a half seconds on my best time. Congratulations, little Phelps. <laughs> Check off swimming joke. Got one. I wrote that joke because my friend's a swimmer. He's like, why do you shave all your pubes? I'm like, why are you in my bathroom? Because uh, I enjoy watching you poop. And I'm like, okay, no more slumber parties. That's creepy. And sure, I'd do it adorable. Both elbows and the knees, fingers crossed, chin down. That's my business. Close the door. I got the Bellagio coming to my ass. I don't need an audience. Highbrow poop joke? My father said impossible. I said nay. <laughs> Top that, Bob Newhart. <laughs> Do you love goose down feathers? Do you have the trifecta? Mattress, pad, pillows, comforter? Oh, oh, oh. It's like sleeping in heaven. Until that quill comes through the pillowcase and sticks you in the eye. He says, how's that feel, bitch, huh? You like sleeping on my carcass, do you? Oh, <laughs> goose, why do you hurt so good? <laughs> Maybe a higher thread count. 600 does the trick. Quit sleeping on 12, that's hay. <laughs> Spend the money, it's one third of your life. Sorry, my nose itched. Hello, Carol Burnett's daughter. I think I'm too young for that reference, and it doesn't warn at all. <laughs> when I die, which is going to be in four years, <laughs> yay! It's the only thing I can plan. Uh, I'm going to be cremated from the neck down. Yeah, then at my funeral, when people are talking about me, they have to hold my head. Yeah, and then at the end, they have to kick me into the audience, and the audience has to keep me up for at least three hits, or you have to start the whole service over. And no cradling it! I want legit sex! Anyone seen Karch? <laughs> do you guys daydream about being on The prices Right as much as I do? Oh. Contestants row the last bidder, the sweet spot. What are you gonna do, your last bidder? One dollar. Does your hoodie sweatshirt say, I go to the university if I waste my bid? Because that's what you just did. 
that's a dumb, the best bid statistically, you have to muster up some courage and go, okay, I need to know what the highest bid was. Se okay, 781. <laughs> Ruined your day, didn't I, lady, huh? You got an awfully small window. Hope you nailed it. I don't know why you want to nail it anyway, so you can go on stage, reach in some old guy's pocket for a $100 bill. My grandpa used to do that all the time. There was no $100 bill. There was a hole in his pocket, no underwear on. Excuse me, don't you go, oh, my grandpa was a great man. If he wanted his balls touched by a little boy, he was going to get it. He shed blood for your freedoms, and don't you forget it. I think I'm on the wrong side of that one. I get it. You ever say the silent prayer when you see the old lady spinning the wheel, hoping once in your lifetime she gets caught underneath and it snaps her back right in half, and a pool of blood comes around and it lands on a dollar, Bob starts peeing himself, he can't hold it, not at that age. It's dangerous, so he's peeing, laughing. Get up, bitch, you have a bonus spin. Take the bonus spin seriously. What are the greens worth in the bonus spin? 5,000. That is a lot of coin. It's going to slow your heart rate down. You're going to bid more effectively in the showdown. Now you're in the one seat, you get to bid or pass. Bid or pass? Pass, of course, it's rookie. The first showdown, carpet, couch, and headset. I'm not on the queer prices right, am I? I signed up for the straight one, yeah. I'm gonna send that south. I'd like the second showdown. That one has a wave runner and a camper. It's a white trash starter kit. I know, I know. A lot of you are like, we don't even have a trailer hit. Screw it, you're camping in your driveway. Maybe you can buy an inflatable pool so your kid can drown. Or maybe you could spend more than $100 on a pool. You're a horrible parent, and I'm glad your grass died. Are we down to six people? Perfect, okay. That's a, well, I don't, I don't get the last part. I mean, obviously the last part, what, what, the grass died? What does that mean? Well, if you leave the pool out for a day or so, it kills your lawn. I rent an apartment. Well, that joke's clearly not for you. Maybe if you're nice, he'll do a poorer version later. I, I won't. I will not. I heart President Bush. Uh, President Bush has done some great things. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but 07, extending daylight savings time two months longer? Yeah, I'm aboard. Thank you. That's great. Do you not know this? Next year is two months longer. There's not new months like Rectober and Toyotathon. Which I'm sure he tried. They're like, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to go to the ranch. I'll see you in seven weeks. <laughs> that storm cut my last one short. Okay. First of all, daylight savings time was created for farmers, and there's only four of them left, so I don't think they warrant half the calendar year. I say keep it 50-50, but instead of one hour forward, ready, ready, five hours forward. <laughs> Suck it! By the way, if you ever have a job where you have to give speeches in front of people, pepper in the phrase, suck it. Very empowering. Just be like, as you can see from our PowerPoint presentation, suck it. But... And your clients will be like, did he, did, he, did he say suck it? Oh, I like this guy. He's a go-getter. Okay, I say change from one to five hours for because people with nine to five jobs, you've gotten so selfish and complacent with the daylight. You get it all the time. People that work at night, a third of this country, according to a survey I made up for this joke. <laughs> we get robbed. It's not fair. Half the year, five hours forward. It means the sun's rising at noon. It means I don't feel like such a piece of shit every morning when I'm waking up. <laughs> I'm like, wow, the sun's just now coming up? I might mail a letter and get groceries today. Time for me to turn this life around. <laughs> Starting tomorrow. Because today, there's a Laguna Beach Marathon on MTV, and I'm gonna get caught up on season three, try to figure out why they're so fucking ugly this year. <laughs> and, that joke's not even over. Are you kidding me? And, sexually 